The great thing about BioBoost is, is that any farmer can use it because of when it can be applied. Everybody's got a plant, obviously, and everybody has to provide a lubricant for that seed. I really don't think there's anything comparable in the marketplace because it delivers so many different modes of action that every single grower in the country can use. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is enrich the seed, enhancing germination and establishing a better final stand and more uniformity within those plants. In order to do that, we have to start right there at that first drink. We're changing the ratio of root to shoot. We're increasing the stem diameter of that early plant because of that early vigor that we're instilling into that plant from that initial drink of water that it imbibes. The BioBoost technology, what makes it up, really isn't anything new, right? It's proven technologies that we've used in the marketplace for a long time. We have our own biology, which is our 401 biology, which is proven. It's a consortium of bacteria that we've proven over decades now uh, that have improved plant performance. We have some food sources in there, like we have microalgae. We have endophytic fungi in there called Bovaria bassiana, which has some very, very unique things about it for uh, early uptake of some particular nutrients. Uh, enhancement of germination and ultimately helps with plant stress later in the season. We currently have two formulations of BioBoost, one for corn and one for soy. Why are they different? Well, they have the same base ingredients in that the biology is there, the fungi is there, the food sources are all there. But then we formulate the very specific micronutrients that's intended for those plants. And there's also a different concentration of some of the things within that product, like some of the biology and things based on seed size and the volume of seed. BioBoost is used at a half an ounce per unit of seed, and that rate is so much less than what farmers are used to from a graphite and talc standpoint that it takes a little adjustment for them to get used to. Instead of using graphite and talc, we use a product called Dust. This was a way to bring all of those things that we want to bring to bring the nutrition and the biology to the marketplace but also to provide a safer opportunity for us as the users. Talc has been removed uh, from a lot of products. A lot of states are uh, listed as a carcinogen now. The shape of the graphite has sharp edges and it's known to break off the uh, insecticide or, or fungicide at times off of the seed and to rub it off. And we're blowing all of this material into the atmosphere, right, and into our environment. And so this product was very unique, the delivery mechanism, because it's, it's made of soy protein, it's completely renewable and it's safe for the environment and it breaks down in the soil very, very fast. Now, you know, you don't have to uh, worry about uh, carrying all of those washcloths with you to try to have lunch because you're just not covered in graphite and talc. For me, it's great to be able to bring something like this to the marketplace and just as better for our environment, more renewable and safer for me and safer for generations of the future.